Hello, everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to Average Joe Sports uh, for this for this week. I'd like to usually start out with something witty, some witty banter to start out today's uh, vlogs like I normally do. But unfortunately, today is not one of those days. Um, this is probably one of the toughest vlogs I'm ever going to do. Hopefully, I never have to do a vlog like this again. But um, as we all know, we have heard the sanctions that have been handed down by the NCAA for uh, Joe Paterno and uh, Penn State University. Um, I'm just going to reiterate exactly what was what, what the sanctions were, and then I'll get into what my opinions are as well. So as we all know, the Jerry Sandusky case came out. He was charged for 40-plus counts of uh, uh, child molestation and, and, child, and child sexual abuse which, as, as we all know, is sick and, and wrong. But um, here's the NCAA's uh, findings for, uh, f fines for, for, for Penn State. Um, this is from ESPN.com, and uh, it says, The NCAA has, has hit Penn State with a $60 million sanction, a four-year football postseason ban, and, vac and a vacation of all wins dating back to 1998 all the way up to 2011. Um, also, it will be reduced. It will reduce their uh, their scholarships from twenty to uh, ten scholarships per year over that current four year uh, bowl ban period. Um, before I really get into my opinions on this, I want to preface everything that I've said that that I'm going to say with this. I understand that. This this heinous crime is absolutely sick and absolutely wrong. I will not at one time throughout this entire vlog deny that child child abuse of any kind, whether it be physical or sexual, especially, is absolutely unacceptable. You should it should never be done. It's sick. It's twisted, and it's absolutely wrong. I have I happen to have friends who have kids, and they're very very opinionated as well. And to those that I know and to others that do happen to watch this vlog for differences of opinions, if your first reaction is, well, Deshaun, you don't have kids, therefore you don't know what it's like, my, old, my, immediate, my immediate answer to you is this. I don't have to have kids to know that child molestation is wrong. I don't have to have kids to know that. So common sense, common sense tells me that. That's Again, that's not for me to come out you know, harshly and, and to diss on, on, on people who have that sort of opinion. I just want it to be known that, yes, I am well aware that child molestation is wrong. And I will repeat it quite a few times throughout this very, very long vlog as well. So I apologize for the length of this vlog. Also, um, if you if you want to sit through the whole vlog before you give your opinion, I suggest that you do that because sometimes when you listen to someone's point all the way through, you have a tendency to kind of understand the platform on which people are coming from. So, <clears throat> that being said, man, let's. There's only one thing to do, and that's just to get into it. Um, just looking at the bullet points as a whole, the sixty million dollar uh, fine against the university is is warranted. I actually think it could be more. You know, the sixty million reflects. Uh, they, they said approximately the entire one entire season. Of, of of football's revenue, be it from from TV, bowl games, games being televised, and so on and so forth, and merchandise. So I do think that that was a sizable punishment for the university a, as a whole. Because again, this whole thing is is to be is to punish the university, and I I agree with with <clears throat> with the NCAA's fine on that four year bowl ban. You know what? I'll be honest with you. That's about par for the course for any re any extreme recruiting violation. USC got a three year bowl ban for uh, for for Reggie Bush, and and that and they had to go way back in the past for that as well. And UW got a three year uh, three three year bowl bowl ban as well when when they when they when they took their hit. So other you know, so that I'm not surprised with. Ironically, I do have a problem with the, the the sanction to the 
team. And when I say the team, I mean said players on the team. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have them vacate all the wins from 1998 to 2011. That also includes, uh, within that particular time, it is, oh, hang on, I have it here somewhere. Sorry. <laughs> I only kind of highlighted the stuff as I was as I was going on. It's I want to say it's six bowl games and two uh, Big Ten titles uh, will will be would be vacated uh, as as a whole. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of that because one the games were played, two. The players on the team, which I pray they have have had nothing to do with this situation. If they have anything to do it, even in the slightest, uh, then then yes, I guess it would be warranted. But these these kids, they're still kids. They're they're eighteen to twenty five year old kids, and I do mean the twenty five year old adult is still a kid because I was twenty five not too long ago. I'm turning thirty here on Friday. And I made kid mistakes when I was 25. Hell, I still make kid mistakes now. So, you know, these these, these are still kids. You know, they they put out they put their their bodies on the line every day. And on Saturday, it's Joe Pa's team Monday or Sunday through Friday. On Saturday, it is the responsibility of the players, the individual players on the team, to go out there and perform. You know, you're going to all of a sudden say that somebody's, you know, 1,500 yard season from, you know, what what have you year. I don't know if anybody ran for that many yards for, for Penn State. I don't know. But you're going to say all of a sudden, oh, hey, by the way, those don't count. They're going to look at you straight in the face and say, go get bent. I was there. There's actually a quote from a former player uh, Adam Teleferrero, I, I don't know if I, if I mispronounce the name, please, by all means, um, correct me, but he, uh, he posted on Twitter, which I know is not exactly the most, uh, valuable of, of sources, but he did, he posted, uh, the NCA NCAA says games didn't exist, he tweeted, <clears throat> um, I got a metal plate in my, in my neck to prove it did. I almost died playing for PSU. Punishment or healing? Hashtag we are. And he's got a valid point in a sense of, again, this is a primary example of him putting his body, his blood, his sweat, his tears on the line. And suddenly you're going to say that you're taking what he, what he did and other players did on the field away from him. That's a slap in the face to the individual player. This is separate to what Joe Pa did, to what Jerry Sandusky did, to what Penn State did. This is the part of the sanctions that I don't necessarily agree with. Now, to the people who say, well, they deserve the death penalty, again, who are you punishing then? Are you punishing the university? Financially, yes. But you're also punishing the individual players on the team that in this case had nothing to do with it. Again, I pray that they don't. They didn't have anything to do with it, as far as we know, in this case. Jump back to uh, Southern Methodist. They got the death penalty mainly because everybody was in on it. The students, the student-athletes, the coaches, the trainers, the university presidents, the regents, everybody and their mama was involved in that particular situation. Therefore, making it necessary to give out the death penalty to Southern Methodist. This ha this situation has solely to do with Joe Paterno, Jerry Sandusky, and I cannot remember the other person's name who originally saw what happened, <clears throat> who originally saw what happened, and he himself did not go to the police. Ironically, we're not talking about him either. You know, he's he's the main catalyst for why this is happening, because he himself didn't go. To the, to the police and say, hey, this is what I saw. If at the absolute least he has said, hey, this is what I saw and the police didn't do anything about it, it doesn't become the problem of Penn State for one and it, and it doesn't become the problem of Joe Paterno 
it then becomes a problem of the police department for failing to do their job. That's, again, that's another story for another time. And I understand that, you know, I, I, I'm full of a lot, of, a lot of strong opinions on this as well. And, and also in the vacating of wins, you got, again, the, there's, there's two, uh, two conference titles that they have to give up. They got to take those banners down. Again, you can take the banners down. But I dare the NCAA to ask any one of those players to give back those rings. They're not going to do it. Because they know that on, the, on that particular Saturday, they put their entire bodies on the line for their university, for their coach, and, and, for, and for themselves. Now, I understand. I, I, I know I just said, and for their coach. I get that. And he's the reason why they're, they're in this mess now. But, but my point is, they put it all on the line themselves every week. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to take that from them. I don't feel that that is right. You know, USC, it had more to do with Reggie Bush as an individual player. So he was being punished. And Pete Carroll also was going to be punished by the NCAA, but he left to go coach in Seattle. You know what I'm saying? Coaches seem to get away with, you know, with, with murder, so to speak, you know, in, in, in when it comes to NCAA sanctions, to be perfectly honest with you. <clears throat> you know, they say, well, I'm going to leave. Now, granted, you know, Joe Pa wound up passing away, so in the sense of him vacating, you know, Penn State, he, had a, he, he vacated on, on a case of life versus, you know, oh my God, I'm going to get sanctioned, I'm going to get hit in the face with penalties, let me get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not excusing what Joe Paterno did. Understand that, please. I am not excusing him for what he did. He plays just as much to blame in this situation as everybody else. The university especially. This, this situation, unfortunately, does not end here. We've just scratched the tip of the iceberg on this particular situation. And if the NCAA chooses to go through with their own investigation and they find more things, the death penalty might actually come forth after all, thus making a lot of people happy. On that note, would I consider this as a whole justice? My opinion on that is absolutely not. Um... I've heard many different uh, descriptions on this punishment from a lot of people on on Facebook. I've heard it. I've heard it as extreme justice. The punishment fit the crime. To I've heard they could have done more. They should have gotten the death penalty. To the point of you know it's just a it's it's misplaced aggression by the NCAA and they're kind of sticking their noses in a situation that they know nothing about. I tend to lean somewhere in the middle on, on all of this. Again, I agree with fining the university $60 million. They could have charged, they could they could have found find them a whole lot more. They could have said, you know what? Keep with the four-year thing. We're gonna try, you know, 60 times four is you do the math, I'm terrible at it. But they could have charged them for that, say we're gonna charge you $60 million you know, each year for four years over the over the course of your ban. I think that would have been just just as just as good as you know as as what the, as what they have here on on paper you know uh, again I, this this is very hard for me as well because I am I'm just I'm I'm an overall sports fan not the biggest Penn State fan on the face of the planet because it's not my conference but you know this this situation is so unique it's not something that you see every day and i pray that we don't see it again you know and to the to the families that have been you know harmed by this situation my condolences do go out to all of you because what you had to what you've had to stand, sit idly by and and watch happen is absolutely unfair it should and it should never happen to 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 anyone i pray that this never happens to anyone at the end of the day and you know but at the same time there really is no justice for the victims here because at the end of the day you know joe, joe paws passed away he can't one he can't defend himself and 
you know, and, and two, it hasn't really proven anything, really, at the at the end of the day. The NCAA said this is what we're going to do, and this is how this is how it's this is how it's going to be. And ultimately, everything that they've done has been par for the course, in in my opinion, you know. But at the end, of, and again, I'm, I'm going to say, but at the end of the day, a, a million times here, but again, the victims still have to go through the 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 trauma that they that they witnessed, you know, as as a kid. And I feel that, you know, ultimately to kind of bring everything around that, you know, I hope that this serves as not just a lesson to, 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 to the schools of the NCAA and to, and, and to all schools at all, at all, all levels of sports, but it also proves as, as a lesson to us as, 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 as human beings, as, as people with 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 sound heart, sound mind, you know, and of 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 sound opinions, most times, that we all go out and say something. I think that's the ultimate lesson here. If you see it, say something. For the love of God, say something. Don't sit there and stand idly by. I can respect that. Uh, I, again, I can't remember his name. I apologize. But when he saw what he saw in, in 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 the showers at Penn State in the in that locker room, I can understand being taken aback for like a day because you got to process what you just saw. You do, and I know a lot of people when this when the news originally came out, they said, "Hey, if that had been me, I would have done this, that, and the other thing." I'm gonna punch him in the face, kick him in the eye, and say, "You want to touch the little boys? Well, that's not cool. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat your face in." I saw a lot of that on Facebook. And I'm going to be the first one to just come out and say it, that of the people that I saw, maybe 5% of you might have actually, you know, stood up and did something physically to harm Jerry Sandusky. But at the end of the day, most of that would not happen. I'm just speaking truth right now. And I understand I have a lot of friends who have kids and they would say, well, I have kids and therefore I would just went, jumped right into action. I hope that, I hope that if you do see that in public, I hope that you do. Please, again, say something, do something. And and then tell the cops, for the love of God, please tell the cops. It ha it has to happen. You know what I'm saying? If the person wants to deny it up and down, left and right, fine. But at least you told somebody and you took the steps to do so. That's all That's all I'm saying. But a lot of people, even people on ESPN were, were talking smack. And I'm like, you know what, dude? You may have done something now. That because again, it's easy to be boisterous and hard and you know and straight G, you know, you know, sitting in front of the camera. I mean, I'm not again, I'm not pretending to be all hard, you know, and and and, and pretend I'm gonna do something about it. If I had seen it, I probably would have taken a step back and like, what in the world did I just see? Wh who am I gonna talk to? Let me go let me go talk to Joe Paul. Let me let me explain it, explain it to him. And if he says, you know what, we're gonna sweep this under the rug, we're gonna pretend it's not happened, let me talk to him. I'd have been like, okay. But the second I left the door, I'd be like, I'm going to go call the cops. You know, I may need 24 hours to kind of process what I saw, but I'm definitely going to go to the cops eventually. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just me. At least I hope that's what I would do. I'm sure if it had been me, I probably would have reacted a little bit differently. I probably would have been scared out of my bones. I'm just going to tell the truth about it. Let's. It's, it's This is the time to be real. You know, and... Yeah, it, it, this particular type of, you know, sexual, child sexual abuse it goes far beyond, you know, college football being the platform. This goes down to as far as Pop Warner, you know, whether it be soccer, football, hockey, baseball, gymnastics. You pick the sport, it's happened. Boy Scouts, you know what I'm saying? We're now finding out about a lot of, you know, troop leaders in Boy Scouts who have who, who, who sexually abused you know, little boys as well. Again, that's also not right. But, you know, kids tell their parents and, you know, sometimes it does get swept under the rug. Because again, it's it's a huge accusation and you have to, you know, see fact. And, you know, sometimes it's not wise to go, with, go to the cops or something sight unseen because you don't know if it's a vendetta. You don't know because you, you're not seeing it with your own eyes. And, and, to, and to, again, this is not me telling, 
the parents of the victims here, what they did was wrong. I'm not, again, I, 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 I understand, you know, people's fears and their hesitations about this situation. I do, under, again, please understand that I do. It's, you know, it's, but at the end of the day, we all have to stand up as a united people. Black, white, Mexi, Jew, Asian, it doesn't matter what your race is in this one. We're all one collective people. We have to come out and we have to say something. We have to do something. We have to put these type of criminals in jail. And in my opinion, and this is, you know, me just being me, let good old fashioned black court justice take hold. I'm just saying. You know, even even the heart the hardest of criminals have a have a code of conduct. All right, they'll mess with adults the, you know, as as much as they want to, but you don't touch somebody's kids like that. You just don't let them let them figure it out. Don't and don't even put them in their own cell. No, 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 no. You put them in with the rest of the hardened criminals, and then let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we all can agree that there's a spe there's a there's a special ring in. In, in Dante's Inferno for for people like Jerry Sandusky. There 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 is. And I and I don't necessarily like to go down that road, but you know, I'm saying what a lot of people are thinking and that's kind of what I'm supposed to do. Usually I do it from a from a sports standpoint. Um but again to bring to bring it back to <clears throat> to to Penn State again the 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 the, the money fine works great for the university. The vacating of wins and <clears throat> you know bowl you know bowl sanctions that punishes the individuals on the team, the student athlete. Now granted, they have the right to go to another university and play immediately. But again, th that's again it's like trying to find a haystack in a mountain full of needles. You know I'm saying it's going to be really, really painful because it's going to be arduous because you're going into somebody else's program with possibly.